So I want to start by reminding you of how long division works. Hopefully you have seen this before and it's not brand new. It does depend on exactly where and when you did primary school. You may just have done short division, in which case you're going to have to learn long division to, to do it with polynomials. Polynomials and short division is just going to get too messy and too complicated, as you'll see. So we're going to do long division, and I'm going to give a simple example with numbers to remind you how it works. 405 divided by 7. So, remember the words. This is my dividend, and this is my divisor. So I'm going to write my dividend underneath a rectangular bracket, and I'm going to write the divisor over on the left. And then I proceed. How many times does 7 go into 4? Well, it doesn't. I could write a 0 here, but I don't need to because there's nothing to the left. And then I look at the next two digits instead. How many times does 7 go into 40? Well, that's 5 times. Now, if we were doing short division, we would go 7 5s are 35. Um, so 40 is what I had, so the remainder would be 5, and I would write a little 5 here. If I start trying to do that with x's, x squareds, x cubes, etc., it's going to get really messy. So we're going to do long division. We're going to write the 35, 7 times 5, underneath. And then we're going to subtract. 40 take 35 leaves me with 5. Now, I know that 7 won't go into 5. If it did, this number would have been bigger. So I'm going to bring down the next digit. Now, you don't have to write the arrow. You can just bring it down. I'm going to do, actually draw the arrow for you a few times to help you to see that connection. So 7 goes into 55 7 times. 7 times 7 is 49. Subtract. That's going to leave me with 6. I have nothing left here, so I can stop. Now, if I was actually doing numbers and wanted decimal expansion, I could put a decimal point here and write some more zeros and just keep taking them down. But for polynomial division, I'm more interested in the remainder itself. So what I want to do is write my division up here in terms of quotient and remainder. So I'm going to go 405 divided by 7 is equal to 57 and 6 sevenths. The divisor here is the same as the divisor here. Now this of course would be a plus. Okay, so if I'm doing my polynomials, I'm going to have my quotient plus my remainder. There's another way I can write this. I can write exactly the same thing slightly differently by multiplying everything by 7. I can write 405 equals... 7 times 57 plus a remainder of 6. So that is my dividend, divisor, quotient, remainder. And we're going to do the same thing with polynomials. Let me show you another example. 5,194 divided by 5. So, I'm going to write my dividend, whoops, 5,194, under the bracket. I'm going to write my divisor over here. 5 goes into 5 once. 1 times 5 is 5, subtract 0. Bring down the next digit. And you don't have to draw the arrow if you don't want to. I'm just making sure you can see what's going on. 5 goes into 1. Well, it doesn't. 0. So I'm going to bring down another digit. 5 goes into 19. 3 times. 3 times 5 is 15. 
subtract. Uh, 19 take 15 leaves me with 4. Bring down the next digit. 5 goes into 44. 8 times. 5 eighths are 40. Subtract. Remainder 4. So I can write my original division as uh, the, the quotient 1038 plus the remainder 4 over the divisor. Or I can write it the other way. My dividend is equal to divisor times quotient plus remainder. So, go have a go at some numbers with long division before we do it with polynomials.